Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Telecom PNG self-care portal. If you are using Telecom PNG prepaid internet service with products like FWB, ADSL, GPON or 4G MIFI, this is where you go to check your data bundle balance, recharge your account, subscribe to voice or data bundle and check usage records. Before we begin, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new helpful video like this. Also hit that like button and if you have any concerns, questions or opinions about the video, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Firstly, open up your preferred browser. I'm using Google Chrome for this tutorial, but you can use any browser of your choice. Process is the same. Then in your search engine, type in Telecom Self Care as your search word and click search. From the search results, click on the first result link showing as Telecom PNG Self Care. This will take you to the Self Care site login page. Alternatively, you can also type in sc.telecompng.com.page in your address bar to take you through. You should be able to access the site with zero data or credit balance, as it's a zero-rated site according to Telecom. On the login page under username text box, enter the service number given to you by Telecom, and enter the default password 123456 if it's your first time login in. Now if your access to the site isn't created yet by Telecom Customer Care, after purchasing the device, you will receive an error message popping up below showing as error with code 500 message. This means your access to the self-care portal hasn't been created yet. You will need to contact Telecom Customer Care on the contact details showing on the screen now to get the access set up for you. Once you land on the self-care homepage upon successful login, you should see your personal details such as name and service number displaying on top. Scrolling a bit down will show you your current bundles section on the left. Here you will see your current data bundle balance displaying in a green circle. Right under that is the expiry date of your data plan. Something to note here regarding the expiry date is that it's just an indication of when your data plan should end. Actual data depletion rate depends on how often you use your data for downloads. Next, look across to the right and you'll see wallets section. This is where you will check your credit balance. Right now I don't have any credits in my account, so it's showing zero Kina. To recharge your account, you'll scroll down to the three clickable blue buttons below. Click on the scratch card button if you are topping your account with a top card or right card. This will bring up a text box directly below it. Here you can enter your voucher number and click submit on the far right to complete your top up. Amount top up should appear in the balance under wallet section. There's also an online top up facility via credit or visa card available. Click on the credit card tab if you're topping up with your visa card. Enter your preferred amount in the text box provided directly below and click on the Proceed to Payment button. This will take you to the payment checkout page where you can complete your online credit purchase. You can also transfer credits to another telecom number here. To do that, click on the Transfer Balance button, scroll down to the first text box and enter the recipient's number. In the text box directly under that, enter the amount you wish to transfer. Minimum transferable amount allowed is 2 Kina. Next, choose your preferred medium where you can receive your verification code, either via SMS or email, by clicking on the drop-down menu. If you selected SMS, the verification code will be sent to your mobile number that was registered under Personal Details section. If email is selected, you will receive the code by email. After that click on the next button below, and the verification code should be sent to your selected medium, by email in my case here. Open your email app or message app on the phone if SMS was selected, copy the code and paste it in the enter verification code text box. Then click confirm button to complete your transfer. Here, my transfer is showing failed message because I have insufficient credit balance to transfer. To subscribe to your preferred bundles, after topping up your account, scroll down to voice, data, FWB or add some pass buttons under bundle section. If you're getting a voice bundle for calls, click on the amount button beside your chosen plan. Same goes for data and special passes if you're subscribing to them. Clicking on the amount tab will bring up the confirmation menu for you to click on the confirm button to complete your selected bundle purchase. Ensure to do this before calling or browsing as not doing so will eat up your main wallet credit balance. On the right of bundle list, you'll find personal details section. This section displays your basic personal details you've provided during the registration process. It shows your name, birthday, email and mobile phone number. Scrolling further down from here will take you to change password section. Here, you can change your default password 123456 or any old password to your new preferred personal password. To do that, enter the old password in the first text box and then your new password into the next two text boxes below. Click on the save button below to save your new password. It is recommended that you change the default password upon first login to minimize the chances of credit thefts. 
The next section underneath is Purchase History. This displays a list of all the bundles you have subscribed to so far with their details such as the plan name, activation date, expiration date, price and size. Under that, you have Usage Records section. This is where you'll go to check your call details records, transaction data records and data usage records for the last 3, 7 or 30 days period. Under CDR button, you'll see the details on last phone numbers called. Under TDR button, you'll see details on transaction you've made for your top-ups. Clicking on the DR button will display the records of your data usage, like how much MB being used and at what time interval it was used. The last section you have on this side is Payment Records. This displays the records of the payments you've made for your top-ups via credit or visa card. You can click on the download button against an entry to download the online transaction information for your records. Lastly, in the event that you forget your self-care password and enter an incorrect password multiple times, your self-care site access will be blocked and you'll receive an error message showing as error with code 401. You will have to contact Telecom Customer Care on the contact details showing on the screen now to have your password reset to default so you can regain access. And that brings us to the end of our today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It's free for you, doesn't cost you anything but tremendously helps out my channel. See you next time.